Russell Carr, um, Research Fellow at Knowledge Biosciences Crota. Thank you very much, Russ. It's a pleasure to speak with you today. I don't know if you know this, but we've already done a few interviews uh, on this topic of uh, biosciences, biotech uh, in, uh, in PEI, but excited to speak with you too. So how would you describe Charlottetown's biosciences sector? Well, first of all, it's a really exciting, vibrant sector. There's a lot going on, a lot of activities, um, a good number of new companies moving into the island um, on a pretty frequent uh, basis. Um, a lot of new exciting programs, um, uh, training programs for, for, um, for existing staff and so forth, new buildings coming online to support the, uh, the, the, the bioscience uh, sector and provide a much needed infrastructure to, to people in the, in the region. Um, then almost just importantly, it's, it's a cluster where people have a sense of belonging to something. Um, other areas where I've uh, where I've worked and where I've uh, some close colleagues, um, nothing really compares to the, the PEI, um, bioscience sector, as people here really do feel like we're belo we belong to a group. Um, lots of support um, structures in place to help people that are here, and lots of interaction between um, the groups that are here. Companies support one another. Um, rather than being uh, competitors, uh, we're we're feel like we're all in the same on the same boat. We're in different boats, but rowing in the same direction, if you like. So it's a really exciting, vibrant, supportive um, sector. So if we did a, a very basic uh, sort of SWOT analysis, focusing on the strengths, but also on the on the areas of improvements, if we can call them like this, of PEI's uh, bioscience sector, what would you put in the first column, and what would you put in the second? Well, it's funny, you could put the same thing in both columns. Um, when I first arrived in PEI, um, the president of the university became the premier and uh, since retired. But Wayne McLaughlin said, Russ, the best thing about PEI is its small size. And the worst thing about PEI is its small size. Uh, but certainly on the, on the plus side, the strengths, um, the small size really works to our advantage, right? We are able to... Um, so a new company comes in, I've been part of helping attract some new companies coming to the island, and it's certainly the case with me when I was getting started. Um, we're able to, in this small province, get a lot of decision makers together. So representatives of a new company can come into the province, and very quickly we can arrange for a meeting with um, people from NRC IRAP, from ACOA, that's Atlantic Canada Opportunities Agency, from the province, from the PEI Bio Alliance and people from Emergence, one of our, our mentoring programs. Um, seeing all of these groups in together to meet at once with representatives from, a new, from the new company. And very quickly, we can set up a plan to develop this small company um, in a way that wouldn't happen um, in other larger jurisdictions. I came to PEI from Florida when the, the bioeconomy was growing down there in an enormous way. But the chances of sitting down with, with ministers or the equivalent of ministers down in Florida um, and, and different funding agencies and other uh, mentoring groups, that, that wasn't going to happen in Florida. You could fight your way to speak to these people individually, but you weren't going to get people to sit down at one table at one time. Um, so that, that's a huge strength. So all of these support infrastructures can be readily accessed um, in part because of our small size. Um, a challenge also is that we're small, so we can't be everything to everyone. So the biotech industry is very large, very diverse, um, and PI would be, we wouldn't be where we are today if we didn't focus. Um, so we can't be everything to everyone, but we can, so that's a weakness perhaps, but if we, if we focus, and we have been, then we can excel in certain areas, um, in our focus areas. And we've, we've selected some of these natural products being one, um, aquaculture uh, being another. Um, yeah, so those are, so the strengths and weaknesses are, you know, are, are, can be related to our size, uh, our small size. Yeah, we interviewed, or I interviewed uh, Mayor Brown uh, last uh, Thursday, and he also spoke about Charlottetown having really picked its areas. He talked about Natural Products Canada, amongst others. 
Um, and, and certainly to foreign investors arriving into a jurisdiction, the ability to connect with you know, government folks or, or, or industry leaders is, is a big advantage. Is there a specific kind of international company that chooses Charlottetown or PEI? Good question. Um, I don't know that there's a specific type of company that, that, that chooses Charlottetown or, or PEI. We have companies here from all over the world. Um, different parts of Canada, the U.S., um, Europe, uh, Germany, Hungary. Um, so we're not, you know, there's a one area globally that's attracted to PEI. Um, but a number of companies, um, you know, say have moved here from, um, you know, from very diverse geographic locations. Um, I think what's attracting these companies, um, put it to if they're SMEs when they set up shop here, or there are the multinationals coming to acquire a company that, that exists here. Um, it is, it's the quality of, the, of the, the, the work that's going on. So small companies are brought in for the reasons we just discussed, small size, access to decision makers, funding groups, ability to leverage funds very readily here. The big multinationals are attracted here um, because of the quality of work being done. Uh, my own company, Nautilus Biosciences, Nautilus Biosciences Canada, as we were known up to three years ago. Um, so we, we attracted uh, an investment of, of Crota, Crota International PLC, which is a British-based um, multinational company. Um, they were attracted because of the, the quality of the work that we were doing. Um, other multinationals have acquired other local companies. Uh, there's, there's quite a good track record of that. So the big companies have come into PEI because of the quality of the work being done by the, by the SMEs. Um, uh, well, one of the, the startups here, going back from the original companies in, in PEI, was, was called DCL or Diagnostic Chemicals Limited, started by Dr. Regis Duffy. Regis is sort of the grand or the godfather, I suppose, of the bioscience or chemical sciences industry in PEI. Um, a great um, uh, innovator, entrepreneur. Um, but his company, DCL, spun off a company called BioVectra, both of which have been acquired twice by big multinationals. In DCL's case, it was bought initially by Genzyme, a very you know, well-known multinational, and Genzyme was acquired by a Japanese-based company called Sekusui. And BioVector was also acquired first by, by Mallinckrodt, um, another uh, global multinational. So the, the big the big companies are coming into PEI based really just on the quality of the work being done here. And in all cases, the local companies are left basically untouched. Um, the thinking being certainly in my case with Nolus and Crota, uh, Crota's thinking is that well, Nolus has succeeded doing what they're doing where they are, why, you know, it doesn't make sense to, to move that, to move the team. Uh, they may not perform quite as well in another location. And we know that when it comes to research um, and frankly, um, yeah, R&D, I should say, uh, and commercialization, the, the, the private sector, of course, um, is, is perhaps, you could say, driving it. Uh, but without the, the support and the collaboration of the ac academic world and uh, of government, um, you know, it, it would be almost impossible. So it's sort of a, I guess it's a synergy, right, that, that is needed. Uh, is, that, is that happening? Um, what sort of um, relationship is there in uh, PEI between key stakeholders at the top of the list, you know, academia, government, industry? That's a very important point. Um, and, and academia, industry, and government are always part of any successful mix uh, wherever you are. I'm lucky. So on um, in PEI, we have university, University of PEI, uh, and Holland College, a technical college, um, and the companies and government research groups such as the NRC. Uh, the NRC focuses on natural products. And so there is very definitely a, a great synergy between all of these, these groups. Um, Nautilus is located in the Duffy Research Center on the university campus which is a fantastic place. It houses private companies, not just our own, but other private companies. The NRC is there and university researchers are there. So it's a great sort of melting pot of people with, with similar overall goals, but coming 
towards these goals from different viewpoints, with government, academia, or, or industry. And so there is a very strong relationship between, between these three types of entities, government, academia, and industry, uh, which is fantastic. Um, it helps the academics um, and the students in the university labs learn about real research going on in companies. Um, the companies can access the, the brain power of, of government researchers at NRC and the academics. Um, and, and so it's very much a, a win, win, win. Um, really an exciting opportunity to work in, in this one building, especially on the UPI campus. The Stuffer Research Center is such a nice melting pot of yeah, academia, industry, and, uh, and the private sector, I mean, the government, sorry. So if I understood you correctly, before we began recording, you said that you moved from Florida to PEI. So there may be people who legitimately or not would ask, you know, why, why would you leave the warmth and the, the you know, the sunshine state? What, what's the quality of life uh, like in, in PEI, uh, let's say all year round? Yeah, that's a good question. I certainly was asked the question when I first came up here. You left PEI to come, uh, Florida to come to PEI. It's backwards. You're supposed to migrate south as, as we get older, right? Um, <clears throat> well, so a lot of different um, parts to that answer, but... A big part is the sense, I had a sense before I moved up here, I moved here in 2006, going back now 15 years, I had a sense back then that there was something exciting growing in PEI, in the bioscience sector. I mean, the people at the BioAlliance and government and the university at the time, it is indeed a very exciting place to work. And the, all of the support systems um, the different resources we've been talking about for the last little while um, have been a fantastic boon to, to knowledge biosciences um, and to me personally. Um, and, and part of the mix here is quality of life, right? And when we think about, um, think about the weather in Florida versus the weather in PEI, and if you look at my window just now and it's minus, uh, it's not a bad day, but it's below zero and there's two feet of snow on the ground. Um, you know, there's a lot more to life than, uh, than the weather. And the quality of life in PEI for myself and my family um, and many, many others I know have come to PEI and work in the bioscience sector. The quality of life is, is a big factor. Um, one can buy a house here um, on the water without spending an enormous amount of money, but that just that, that it's, isn't an option in Florida. Um, staff can live much better. We don't have to commute. Um, I live across Charlottetown from, from work, but that's a five minute drive. Uh, Florida is not uncommon to drive one hour each way. So, you know, we have, we have all, and, and Charlottetown is this fantastic, really big, small town. You know, it's a small town, but many of the attributes of, of a much bigger place, a big, bigger city. So quality of life here is, is not to be overlooked. Um, it, it's really a fantastic place to live. It's a fantastic place to work, especially in the bioscience sector. Um, and so for me, the move was, was an easy decision. Finally, Russ, if you had 30 seconds to pitch PEI to a floor of foreign investors uh, focused on you know, bio and, and life sciences, what would you say to them in, in 30 seconds to convince them? Well, a number of areas. Um, I think we've been talking a lot about the supportive community that we have in PEI, right? So that includes the, the mentoring activities, for instance. Through the emergence program, we have really phenomenal mentoring activities. The small size allows new companies coming in here to meet with decision makers and, and, and leverage their funding through all sorts of programs. So meeting with decision makers, leveraging funding, the, 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 the BioAlliance, another part of the equation, it's a phenomenal group. I'm part of the board, but I'm not part of the staff. I'm not credit for this personally, but Rory Francis and his staff, they have this can-do attitude. And if somebody comes up with an idea that's deemed to be valuable, um, profitable for whomever, they will make it happen. And it's really fun to be part of that sort of an attitude where you know, we'll make this happen. However, however difficult it might be, we'll make it happen. Um, there's new infrastructure. I haven't spoken about that. But there's new infrastructure that's being built right now. There's another very exciting building in the plans. And, and local companies can be part of the, of the design specifically, but it can be part of the discussion process leading to design and development of new infrastructure. 
And that doesn't happen in very many places. So that's really exciting. Um, and the last point I'll come back to the, the lifestyle. PI is just this phenomenal place to live and to work in the biosciences sector.